Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This angle is terrible and my makeup looks terrible today. I just threw on something um, really fast because I just worked, but I wanted to put a little makeup on because it's been a little bit since I've put a little makeup on. Um, as you can tell, I'm sounding a little bit like stuffed up and I'm really hoping that I'm not getting a head cold so cross your fingers for me that I'm not because it's obnoxious and my eyes are bothering me today a bit it's probably why I haven't worn makeup in a little while because I actually have um I actually have allergies I don't even know what it's called because I'm not you someone's pulling up next to me right now and they're gonna be looking at me like why am I talking to myself but um I actually have allergies and, um, or used to not till after I had Hunter. So now I have allergies and it's not fun. Now I know how you guys feel that I have allergies. So I usually wake up in the morning now and my eyes are bothering me. So I usually don't put makeup on. So that's why my eyes are looking really red and yeah, my nose is very itchy. Anyway, this video is going to be a Whole Foods and Costco haul. I'm going to take you guys in the store with me. I'm not quite sure really what, if I'm really going to vlog in the store or not. I'm going to try. Uh, but as you saw by the title, I am going dairy free. And so is Matt. So I'm looking forward to it because I recently found out that I am allergic to cow's milk. And I know I've always been like lactose intolerant pretty much. But uh, it was nice to finally get a test done to tell me whether or not if I really was or not. And I definitely am. That's the only thing that I'm allergic to. Uh, so I'm sick of being bloated and I'm ready to kind of just eat better, eat healthier and get back in shape and all that. And I know dairy is a big factor um, of some people like keeping weight on and stuff. So if I can like kind of cut that out a bit and try some dairy-free products, then that's what I'm going to do, and Whole Foods, and natural grocers, and sometimes Walmart carry stuff. I've previously asked a few people who are dairy-free where to go, and they definitely recommended Whole Foods, so we're going to go into Whole Foods, because other than that, I never shop at Whole Foods just because it is very pricey, but if it's the only place I can find dairy-free stuff, then, I mean, this is where I have to come, so it's going to be a test. We're going to see, uh, but yeah. Let's go shopping. So I heard this brand right here is really good because it's dairy free. We do have the So Delicious brand, which is a little cheaper because this is $5.29, which is a little crazy for cheese, but. Okay, I'm a sour cream like freak. Um, I love sour cream on everything, and this is the Terfida Milk Free brand, and these are $3.49, which is not too bad. Um, I've tried this before, and I really do like it, so I'm going to get this, and I'm going to try every brand of the cheese, so we'll see which one I like. I got two cheddars and one mozzarella, so yeah, it's good to see cheese test up. I need cream cheese as well, so might as well get this one. I've heard that the Kite Hill sour cream is really good, but it's $7.99, which is insane to me. But I don't use cream cheese like all that often, so I'm wondering if I should pick some of this up, because the everything kind actually looks really good. So, let's see the date on this. Yeah, these last a while, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just pick this up and um, things that are dairy-free tend to last a little longer. Let's see which one this one expires. So I'm a huge fan of Juicy Jazz, as you guys know, and she gets the um, plant-based patties, which these look very interesting. So I think I'm going to pick these up. They're $5.99, but we'll see if they're good or not. So here's that 
Kit Hill, Kite Hill, I'm not sure. This is the yogurt, which is $1.99. Not too bad. Um, Hunter's been loving yogurt, but I know he has a dairy sensitivity too. So I'm going to pick a few of these up as well. All right, guys. So, sorry you can see the glare on my glasses. And also, sorry for that patch right there. If you guys see it in my vlogs or anything, we recently had to drill a hole in the wall and stuff because of this um, leak that happened. But Matt just sanded it and we have to paint it. So that's not going to be like that forever. And if you're ever wondering what this painting is back here, his friend painted that for him. And it just matches the um, purple walls like perfectly. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, and also one of these days you guys will see. <laughs> this is so outdated. That vent thing is so outdated. Um, my mom just gave her us this oven which was so much nicer than our other one if you guys don't remember the other one you can look back in my past videos but there's nice new hardwood floors and stuff so this house is definitely a work in progress um uh, i will eventually do a house tour um to show you guys like everything but anyway let's get back to the groceries i just got back from whole foods and i'm going to put all this stuff away and then i'm going to go head over to costco and at costco i only had to honestly grab a few things but i will show you guys what i get but I'm going to turn the camera over and show you guys everything that I got at Costco. I mean, Whole Foods. Okay, so like I said, I did pick up um, these three cheeses right here. So I heard the Daya, Daya brand um, is dairy-free. I heard this is um, a really good one. And I also heard that the So Delicious one is really good. And I have a feeling that I will like this one because So Delicious has a really good dairy-free um, ice cream, which I will be picking up um, when I go gro actual grocery shopping at like my King Supers, like Kroger. And then I got this one right here, which is this 365 Everyday Value, which I'm pretty sure is the Whole Foods brand. So, which this was the cheapest one out of all of them, but they're still pretty pricey because normally I only spend like on a bag of cheese like this, like regular cheese, I only spend like two bucks or something so these were like in the four to five price dollar range but they'll last me for quite some time because I plan on not using as much cheese as I did before um, I got some roasted um, red pepper hummus which I do enjoy hummus but I did get these uh, specifically I did get that for Matt specifically because when Matt sorry I'm pulling other stuff out of the bag when Matt gets home from work, sometimes he gets a little hungry before um, I make dinner. So I got him some of these as well, which is the Nacho Chipotle, um, I don't know what brand this is, late July snacks that he can eat with his hummus. And I'm very excited. Guys, I have been really enjoying, I'll show you guys, this is like my little snack thing. I've been really enjoying these uh, Quaker um, cinnamon, apple cinnamon uh, rice, rice cakes. And I saw these at Whole Foods. Sorry if my camera is being kind of glitchy and weird. But these are sticky chips. I've never tried this kind before. But they're gluten-free. And this one is coconut crunch. And this one is aged cheddar which these hunter likes these too and I really feel like you only need a few to snack on um I also got two of these because they were on sale for super cheap these are the kettle brands potato chips um and tropical salsa with mango infused salt and I'm very excited about these the ones that are cooked in um, avocado oil are delish like I said these were only a dollar fifty a bag seems like a lot of chips but this is kind of my grocery shopping for um, the month, just so I can have everything stocked up and I don't go to Whole Foods too often, so I wanted to kind of like get bulk of things. Then I got these right here, which is the Happy Tote Super Morning Bowls Oatmeal and Sprouted Quinoa. Um, Hunter enjoys these and there's no sugar added and I usually open up half of one and mix in some yogurt. And speaking of yogurt, like I showed, I did get him some of this dairy-free Kite Hill 
um, yogurt, which I'm excited about. And then I found the dairy free pizza and this is the cheese lover ones. It's dairy and soy free. If you guys want me to, um, tell you guys like kind of vlog on me trying the dairy stuff and telling you guys how it actually is because I kind of want to do a video on like a trying out the dairy free cheese and this and stuff and telling you guys if it's like good or not or what I prefer. But maybe I will do that in my upcoming videos that I plan on doing, like what I eat in a day to lose weight, because I'm going to start um, trying to lose weight and do that whole journey thing again. Um, like I showed, I got the um, kit. Is it kite kit? Guys, I cannot pronounce that. Pretty sure it's kite. Uh, everything, almond milk, cream cheese. Then I got the regular cream cheese the sour cream which is actually a bit thicker than normal cream cheese so i really feel like you don't need that much and then these right here guys like i mentioned the store juicy jazz she always gets me hooked go check her out if you haven't seen her um before i will link her channel down below but she recommended these right here they're she said they're just like the um swedish fish and i love those but these are so much better for you, less sugar, less calories, and she said they actually taste better. So I saw that they had some peach rings too, which are like my favorite, and oh my gosh, yum. And these are only 80 calories per bag. So if these are good, my, I'm going to have to go back because I think they were like two for five. Um, I also got some mac and cheese for Hunter. I got the shells and really real aged cheese mac and cheese from Annie's and like I showed I got some of the plant-based patties now I'm not going vegetarian I know that I probably should but I um, love my chicken I love my ground turkey I don't eat beef too much but one day I might go vegetarian or vegan I don't really know what is the difference see I don't really know much guys but um, I don't know. We will see. If you do, let me know down below and let me know how you've been feeling, um, with it. But also I got more of the yogurts and then an unhealthy thing that I got were these right here and they're the cherry vanilla cream sodas and there's no fructose, high fructose corn syrup in it, but these are like a little treat for me. I don't drink soda that often. Um, if I do, it's one of the small little Pepsis, but, um, like I said, I'll, if I drink one of these, I'll probably be only a half a can, but anyway, I'm going to put these groceries away and head on over to Costco. I totally realized that I didn't show you guys these either. Now these are the skinny pop popcorn, popcorn mini cakes, the cinnamon sugar, and there's only 60 calories in 10 cakes. And again, these are something that Hunter will totally eat with me, but I love bringing stuff like this. On mornings where I clean houses and I am not too hungry, but I need um, to eat something. Since I was diagnosed with hypoglycemia, I got to make sure that um, my sugar is good and all that. And, you know, my blood sugar and all that. So, anyway, these are bomb if you guys haven't tried them yet. So I am back from Costco again. I know my makeup looks terrible today. I tried out a new, a new bronzer. I'm not quite sure I like it or not. But here I am saying that I'm going to get do a small Costco haul. Totally not small. I decided I was going to, like I said from Whole Foods, I was trying to get things for like the month of um, January. So that's pretty much what I did at Costco. That way I don't have to like go back there. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from Costco. So I'm not sure if you guys are ones to do this or not, but I love using reusable bags because obviously it's better um, for the planet <laughs> and it holds so much more. Okay, so Matt and I have been loving stir fry lately and it's one thing 
I know like the noodles and stuff and rice isn't that healthy for you, but I feel like you can get a good meal out of it and not have too high of calories. You can add some broccoli and chicken to it. So I'm really excited about this. A lady, when I was picking this out, actually passed me and was telling me how much she loved this, that she tried it the other day and she added broccoli and chicken to it. And I was like, that's exactly what I was thinking. So very excited to try these out. Um, can't remember how much this was, but if you guys are ever wondering the price of something and if I should tell you the prices in the video, let me know down below because I'll totally do that for you guys. Um, Matt and I have also been into salads lately. I cooked some chicken in the crock pot and then we stir that up and just make little salads for lunch. So I got the Asian cashew chopped salad. I got two of those, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure where the other one's at, probably in the other bag. I got these which look delicious. They're chicken skewers. Um, these will just be so easy, especially for me on days when I just want a very simple lunch when I have Hunter with me and I can just put two of these skewers, like, um, put them on the stove top, heat them up or put them in the oven and just eat that with some rice and some like edamame or something. So that'll be like a very, very easy thing. Plus they're already, um, seasoned and everything. So I think these are going to be delicious and I'm pretty sure Matt's going to like these as well. Matt likes roast beef sandwiches for his lunches. So I got him some roast beef. This is a heavy thing of roast beef. It's a very good price. I feel like $9.66 for this big old thing of meat is definitely recommended. And he said it's um, some of the best roast beef that he's ever tried. All right. And here we have um, the meat, which I'm going to pull out real quick and then I'll show you guys. So this is definitely going to last Matt and I, um, for a while. Look how amazing. I just feel like this pork, this, uh, it's pork loin. Um, it was 1407 for all of this. That is a freaking awesome deal. And recently I made a recipe with pork chops in it and Matt and I, Matt especially loved it. So I'm like, this is going to last us a while. Then I got this huge thing of chicken breast. It's got this three and then three on the back. And then we always get this um, all natural ground turkey that has um, four, four in it. And each pack has a little over, like I think it's a pound and a half of meat. So we're definitely set on meat. And Costco, whoops, I just dropped the bag. Costco is definitely the place to get meat, guys. Like Definitely a place to get meat. I mean, you can get it at Sam's Club too, but we have a Costco membership, so. And then last time we went, which was a few weeks back, or last month, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it was last month. We, which was a few months, <laughs> a few um, weeks back. But we had a little sample of these delicious meatballs, and I decided to get a big old pack of them. And we could do meatball subs, meatballs and rice, you know, uh, spaghetti and meatballs, all that. Plus, I think Hunter's going to really like these as well. So, going over here, Bubba loves his fruit snacks. And I remember getting this like three or four months ago, and it lasted us months for Hunter. So, excited about that. Plus, I saw these. These were like $12.99, I think. And Hunter's a snacker, so these are the cute little um, fruit strips. And it comes with a few different ones in there. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if Hunter likes these or not. Because they're kind of like, it's a snack that I don't have to really worry about it being too much sugar in it. Uh, so I don't really know much of the ingredients in here. Let's see. Apple puree concentrate. Um, lemon juice. Yeah, so... Not too sugary. I like that. All right. So again, like I said, Matt likes to snack. So his kind of go-to snack is this pub mix, which I think he'll be pretty excited when he sees that I got that for him. So now he's going to definitely have little snacks to eat because he's always like, what am I going to snack on when I get home? There's a guy for you. Then I got the Pace um, Salsa because we always need salsa. I'm always making pancakes in the morning, so I got this huge thing of pancakes. This is going to last me a while. 
Plus, I can do so much more with this. Make waffles, mini pancakes for Hunter, and all that. Okay, if you guys have not tried this tilapia from Costco, it is the tortilla, tortilla crusted tilapia. So bomb. Like, it's so good. And I'm not a fan of, like, fishy stuff. And this does not taste fishy at all. So here's that other bag of the Asian chopped salad. Hunter is the biggest fan of dipping his food in ketchup. So I decided to get two big ketchups because we just go through ketchup like crazy around here. And Matt and I like to make homemade ramen as well. So I got these um, rice ramen gluten free, free vegan. And it's a 12th. It shows right here. It's a 12 pack. So I think that's awesome. We can just add some chicken in there or eat it just like it is. So I think I got some pretty awesome stuff. Alrighty guys, like I said, this makeup, this makeup. Anyway, I'm gonna put these groceries away and I gotta film a few other videos today. So if you see this makeup look and me wearing this excuses don't burn calorie shirt, <laughs> which is very true, I gotta hit the gym. Um, I gotta start hitting the gym. But anyway, if you guys like seeing these kind of videos, like the grocery haul kind of videos, let me know down below and I'll do more for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. So many of you guys have been so supportive lately, commenting on my videos and it just seriously means so much to me. Like usually I post them, when I post them at nighttime and I wake up in the morning to seeing even 20 views on my video and like either even five comments or two comments makes me so happy because I love when you guys actually take the time to watch my videos. It means you enjoy it. I love communicating with you guys and all of that. So I really appreciate all you guys. I love you. And I will see you guys in my next one. Toodaloo.